And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. Here's Pete Gray and rock god Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two of Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the mighty 1090. Having great fishing here. Talking with Captain Ryan Bosch into the San Diego. Having a great show. Talking fishing and talking about a great boat as well. You want to get through in the second hour. We want to hear from you. It's been a very busy morning on the phones. 858 area code 457 1090. That's our local number, or get us toll free. That one's 877 792 1090, or we're going to be taking your phone calls. All the lines are packed up right now, but as soon as one drops off, that's going to be your chance to get through. And man, are we giving away a couple of great prizes. Two lucky callers at the end of the show today are each going to get to experience that great three quarter day fishing because they're each getting a trip aboard the San Diego out of C4 Sport Fishing. and Boy, Ryan, we sure appreciate that and sure appreciate all the generous trips you've given away here on Let's Talk Hookup. It's certainly a favorite of everybody's. I know it's certainly a favorite of mine, and we love uh, letting guys get to go fishing with you because they're, they're assured to have a great time. Yeah, no problem. It, it's been a great relationship over the years. We we agree for sure. Well, hey, we got him back. Pete is back on the line. What's up, Pete? Hey, well, we um, lost a little connection there on the satellite phone. It is a, a remote place here at... Katmai Lodge, but absolutely beautiful. Uh, like I said, we're looking at the Alagnac. I just saw Harold Davis all weighted up and heading. Uh, he's going upstream uh, to uh, fish the braids for trout, as well as uh, Pete Chacaloni from Castle Yachts and myself. We're going to do the same today. Um, saw several of our group there uh, that are going to go downriver again and uh, hit those 8 million sockeye salmon heading up the river. <laughs> a lot of big chum salmon in the river. And a lot of kings. I got a nice, like, 20-pound king on the um, on the Stratic 4000 with a nice light um, uh, spin rod there on a, a little, uh, it's like a, a Rapala crank. You throw them into the, uh, um, our guy Jeff Top idles uh, in the, right up the, uh, the deep hole, and you cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve. And these things hit like a freight train. I'm going to tell you what. I was, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. So a lot of the people in our group have never touched a fly rod before. And yesterday they said, yeah, that was easy, man. I caught my limit of sockeye easy. It was really fun and exciting. And I know, uh, there's lots of different options here as far as, uh, what to do. You can fish sockeye, kings, uh, the chum salmon are in, and then you can go up river and, and, and do the amazing trout fishing, catch that, I'm hoping for that 30 incher that I've been always searching search for, for up here, those big native Alaskan rainbows. And then, um, the other thing too is, is, uh, you get to take a, a, a 50 pound box of fish home and nothing like sockeye salmon. Sockeye salmon, just unbelievable. They, uh, vacuum pack, play and vacuum pack all your fish for you and, and put it on the plane, but, it's uh it's it's a it's a very very remote destination. It's a very very incredible destination. Uh, very very happy to be here, and the food's amazing. The lodging is super super comfortable, and we're ready to go fishing. So I'll let you guys get back to it. Uh, we're gonna go catch a bunch of bunch of big rainbows today, and and have a great time on the river. Oh, we did see two bear um, yesterday, two brown bears. And uh, we're hoping that we're going to see, I know we're going to see many, many more upriver today. There's a, they're in there feeding on the sockeye salmon, and um, they're, uh, they really don't care about you. They're just feeding. So uh, it's really great bear viewing, and uh, we should see some moose today and eagles and otters. And it's quite the National Geographic experience up here at Katmai Lodge. But if you want more information on Katmai, it is a, a, an amazing place. I highly recommend it for anybody that wants a fantastic, real, cool Alaska experience. Uh, Katmai.com is their website, and they still have space available this year. We'll be putting a trip together next year, too. And I will talk to you guys. We get back on Wednesday night, and I'll talk to you on the, in the studio 
next Saturday. Have a great show, guys. Wow, what a report, Pete. Great job. Sounds like a blast and really, really cool fishing opportunity. Yeah, no, no, nothing more needs to be said. You just got to go catch a bunch of big ones, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week, buddy. Have fun. All right. Have a great show. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for being here. Take care. See you, Pete. All right. Have fun, buddy. That's awesome. What a, what a oh, great move. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Awesome. Well, as you can hear, we're having a great time in the second hour. Phones are absolutely packed solid, and we're going to be taking your phone calls. We got them back. Jim in National City. Jim, the phone's instantly redialed, so I don't know how you made it back in, but I'm glad you did, buddy. Good morning. Hey, morning, guys. Yeah, I had my uh, land phone. I was out in the patio having a cup of coffee, puffing on a cigar. I must have been too far from my home base. So anyway, uh, a couple of things I want to talk before I get about the San Diego, which I could rant and rave all day about that boat. Uh, Ryan, I need to know if you had a chance to eat that salmon from Sitka that I brought you and what you thought of that. <laughs> Not yet, Jim. You know, I've been on the boat for the last two weeks. I haven't had a day off. Today's my first day off, and it's actually my wife's birthday today, so I think we're going to eat it for lunch, actually, and then we're going to go out to sushi for dinner. So it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, you know, Rick, that was a great trip we had up there at Sitka. Uh, uh, you know, my friend Frank, uh, cancer patient. Uh, Man, that, that trip just gave him adrenaline rush. He caught that 100-pound halibut, and he was just stoked, you know. But in any way about the San Diego, what a great boat. You know, I cannot emphasize enough that when you go on that boat, they have the most outstanding crew. Matt and Sean, these guys are just over the top. And I don't care how much of an expert fisherman you are, I'm a, I'm a know-it-all expert, which means, <laughs> man, you don't know nothing. But get those deckhands. Get the go. To, all I can tell you is go to those, and they shouldn't even be called deckhands. I don't know what you should call them, but those guys are just great. Go to them, or even Ryan, of course he's busy most. He's in that wheelhouse trying to find fish, but and th- and say, hey, you know, put me together on this trip and. If you go to them, they will keep an eye out for you and help you through the trip. And it's just so important because they're on that boat every day. They know exactly what's happening. And about three years ago, I started riding on this boat, and now I'm a regular. I I just don't go anywhere else hardly. And uh, I'm just thrilled that I found this boat, and I get to fish with a great skipper like like Ryan and his great crew. So, anyway, I just want to give you that uh, deal there and uh, thank you very much ryan thank you Great jim job, jim. Jim, jim's one of these guys great guy and he's constantly bringing beginners out you know friends of his introducing them to fishing and to me that's that's what it's about that is that's why i do what i do he's he, like the cancer patient he brought on on your alaska trip he does that on the san diego all the time and he's making lifelong customers for us and introducing him to fishing and you know supporting the tackle shops and that's why I love fishing right there, stuff like that. That's cool, no doubt. Jim, appreciate the phone call very much. Glad you had such a great time on the San Diego. Hey, let's go live now to Captain Brandon Hayward. Brandon's been getting them really good this year. And I know you were uh, when you were on the show a couple weeks ago, Brandon, you said you were uh, very sad that your sea bass season was coming to a close and you had a couple more trips. Did you, uh, did you finish it off? Hey, good morning. Morning. Uh, yeah, sea bass season... Uh... Went out good, and then uh, the, the water kind of got warmer, and things changed, and started doing our bluefin trips. And we had uh, both boats out the first day, and we got four of those nice bluefin. We had a a big one; it, it taped really big. It was definitely over 275, a 201, a couple 150s. Wow! So uh, we just got real lucky on the on the timing front, and since then we've been getting some getting shots every day, and and catching more than we're losing. So that part's good. And uh, I just wanted to put it out there. We're going to get the uh, Parker down at Fisherman's Landing next week. I made uh, a couple of uh, open party dates for the, the 27th and the 30th there out of Fisherman's. And uh, we have a, a date or two open uh, for charter at the end of the month, like the, the 28th and the, the 29th, actually, a Saturday. So if anyone wants to jump on our first week out of uh, Fisherman's Landing, last week of the month's going to be it, okay? And this is an opportunity to go fish for trophy fish, obviously, if, you know, a, Barring nothing changing, the plan would be to go out and target that trophy trophy bluefin in in what is probably one of the the best opportunities as far as you know fishing without uh, a, a lot of people, a uh, you know small boat, obviously lots of uh, you know 
that being, you know, you're, you're one at a time targeting trophy fish. So opportunity with only four guys on the boat is, you know, slightly better than, than the more. But uh, that's, I'm assuming, the design of this trip is just going to target those real big trophy class bluefins. Yeah, yeah. We're actually going to shave it down, and uh, I'm just, we're just going to take three people on those trips. And the price is 520 per person. Um, I just think it's it's easier to catch three than it is four, right? Yeah, that that, that would so, be right. Yeah, no, 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 no doubt about that. Well, how? So, well, yeah, we're, we're going to kick it off. You know, the way I did it last year is I'm a realist and it's fishing, and those big bluefin are just like sea bass, man. Every, every one you catch, I look at it and I think this could be the last one. It could swim away. It could never happen again. But it keeps happening the last few years. So you know, if things change, we'll adjust and we'll uh, we'll do whatever. But uh, in the in the meantime, we're for this month, anyways, we're just straight that straight that big fish. That's awesome, man. Very, very cool. And a great opportunity. I know it's been a very busy time and not easy to get to go fishing uh, uh, on, on a, in either of your great boats there. So, again, the 27th and the 30th are two open party trips, only three passengers. Price is 520 And if somebody wants to book one of those trips, book a charter with you and, uh, as you're operating for your summer schedule at a fisherman's landing, how do we do that? For right now, the best thing is just uh, give me a call and just uh, go through me, and I'll book them and, and go go that way. And uh, cell is 949-212-0719, and uh, the website's bitesportfishing.com. The, the, old, the old website still takes you there, one-man charters, but bitesportfishing.com on that. Or uh, give me a call, 949-212-0719. How cool that your first two, uh, first few trips all concluded with giant bluefins, including one over 270 hitting the deck. Awesome job, Brandon. Glad to have you down at San Diego at Fisherman's Landing for the summer and anxious to hear about all those big bluefins coming over the rail of the Parker. Okay, thanks for that. Appreciate it. You guys have a good morning. Awesome. Thanks a lot for that. Right. Appreciate that very thanks. much, Brandon. Hey, with that, it's time to find out what's going on on the water. We have your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hansen, on the line today. That report is sponsored by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Fisherman's Processing is San Diego's finest, and that's why they're known as the fish pros. And once you try them, you'll be hooked. They'll fillet and vacuum pack your fish all the year specs, as well as offer you the best in smoke fish, jerky, and their famous tuna burgers. Check Fisherman'sProcessing.com for more details, or you can see them when your trip returns to the landing. And let's talk now to Captain Opa, Mr. Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Ryan. How are you guys this morning? Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Hey, I am down here at Dana Orr Sport Fishing right now, hanging out with my dad. They're doing the fish for life today, Ricky, on the Dana Pride, you know. They got all the kids getting ready to come down here. They got the red carpet getting rolled out. It's a big, big day down here in Dana Point Harbor. We're going out on the Dana Pride with all the kids. So I just wanted to give a shout out, fishforlife.org. You guys check it out. It's a great, great, great deal to get these kids out on the boat. Some of them have never been out on the water before. It's a spectacular day down here in Dana Point. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. But hey, let's jump on to this fishing thing real quick. That bluefin decided that it was finally done eating all those anchovies and it started biting those yummies really good the last two days. I was talking to Pete Grossbeck last night. He ended up getting seven of those big bluefin on the yummy flyer. There was a bunch of boats that had more than three fish the last couple of days. It was spectacular fishing out there. That fish has kind of moved up into a little bit closer area to Dana Point, and the fish is starting to get really good on that bigger bluefin on the yummies and then that yellowfin tuna put on a heck of a show here on the 14 mile bank yesterday and the day before one of my buddies brett false crane lures there he had 19 fish on the troll on that smaller jet head stuff the oranges and the reds trolling through that dolphin schools up here on the 14 mile bank on that yellowfin and it's all quality fish 20 30 pound fish the problem is that stuff up here is still all over that anchovy. So as soon as it eats all the anchovies, I think we're in for some unbelievable offshore fishing here. But like Ryan will tell you, it's such tough out there looking right now. There's so much anchovy. you got to kind of turn your gain almost all the way down on the sonar just to get through the anchovy and see the tuna. And then you jump over to the islands, guys. Yellowtail, yellowtail, yellowtail dominant at both islands. Catalina, San Clemente, down there at the Coronado. There's yellowtail everywhere. That new batch of kelp paddy yellowtail down below the border, it just does does not look like this season's going to stop. It's just going to get better and better and better. And like we keep saying every day, you have to go fishing. You want to be the guy that's on the boat the day that it, that it bites. You don't want to be the guy at home. 
And how do you know what day that is? I have no idea, but all I can tell you is you got to go. You just got to go, and you got to go, and you got to keep going until you're on the day that they decide to die. That's it, buddy. You can't you can't deny it. If the more often you're there, the more often the stars will align on one of those trips that they want to go. And and the more that you keep in touch with where that fish is biting, with services like Fish Dope, with services like what you offer, you're going to get on them, you're going to keep on them, and you'll certainly be picking away at those fish as the season rolls on, and eventually the stars will align and you'll get on those days that they just, that everything comes together and they just climb aboard. Absolutely, and it looks like, as you pay attention at all, it looks like, it seems like every time Ryan is on that boat, the stars seem to align pretty good. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> well, uh, you, I had to say it because you're in there right now. If there was anybody else, I'd say it about them. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Dave, there are uh, certainly some good fishing going on. You talk about it week after week after week, how important it is to stay on the fish as they move, and that's exactly what FishDope.com does for you. Uh, great information from guys like yourself. Danny does such a good job of putting the synapses together all the way up and down the coast on where it is and where it's moving. If you sign up right now and you use the code HOOK, up now at checkout again hook up now all lowercase no space you're going to save yourself 20 bucks on a new membership to fish dope and just such a good uh, such a good call for this offshore fishing right now with this up and down and consistent and inconsistent as it has been there's nothing like good information before you go fishing absolutely it's i don't know where you would get your information if you're not hooked up with like ryan or myself the easiest thing to do is just to jump on the internet and look at fish dope and you can kind of see what happened today, what happened yesterday, kind of put his plan together and go out there and execute it. You got it. Well, great job. Appreciate the info, as always, Dave. If somebody wants to go fishing with you, how do we do it? Well, we got that 65 Hatteras running full speed up here. We're chartered up pretty much through August, but we have some opening dates in September. If someone wants to get out there and go out on this big 65 hat with the new stabilizing side power system, the boat doesn't rock anymore. You guys can give me a call at 949-374-0786. All right? Great job, okay. Dave. Here, hold on. Oh. All right. And then if you guys want to call Jim for Fish for Life, give him a call at 949-285-8819. Right on, All Dave. Right. That's Jim. See you guys later. Appreciate that, buddy. Good luck fishing this week. I hope you continue to get them. Great job on that fishdope.com report. Hey, just want to give you a side note, something very fun coming up. It's coming soon, so make note, our San Diego County Ford Dealers live remote broadcast. The next one is Saturday, August the 5th at North County Ford and Vista. It's your next chance to qualify for the two big grand prizes. Again, prize one is the Hobie Mirage Drive Kayak from Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay, along with a trip to go fishing out of Cedros Kayak Adventures on Cedros Island. All of that is going to one grand prize winner. The second grand prize winner, number two, is a four-night fishing package for two at Palmas de Cortez in the beautiful Baja East Cape, including round-trip tickets to San Diego from San Diego to Los Cabos on Alaska Airlines. Be sure to click on the Alaska Air banner on the front page of Let's Talk Hookup.com for great deals from Alaska Airlines. And you can also win a trip aboard the Blackjack, courtesy of Dana Landing in Mission Bay. You're going to be giving away Shimano rods and reels and Maui Jim sunglasses. And the prize cowboy is going to be there with a ton of great stuff just for showing up don't forget you're going to have two different chances to win all of those great grand prizes including the trip to palmas de cortez on alaska airlines and that fast lane hobie kayak and cedros kayak fishing trip check the guest page let's talk hookup.com for rules and details we're going to see you saturday august 5th at north county ford and vista and when we come back we got a lot more let's talk hookup coming your way more of your phone calls more great information you stay tuned you're listening to let's talk hookup on the mighty 1090 when you put on a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, the world begins to look different. Colors are more vivid. Contrast is clearer. Details are crisper. Wherever your vision leads you, beauty follows. With polarized lenses that eliminate glare and enhance color, Maui Gym sunglasses won't change the world. They'll change the way you see it. Color. Clarity. Detail. Maui Gym. If you've been searching for that perfect inshore and offshore boat, Defiance is the one. Go far and stay dry is the Defiance slogan. And that is exactly what you get in these overbuilt, trailerable offshore boats. Inland Boat Center has the Defiance you are looking for in stock, ready to fish. A huge 2.5-acre indoor showroom. And over 300 new and pre-owned boats for everyone. Family-owned and operated. Their customer service is the finest available. They take trades of all types and offer amazing financing deals. 
sales. Check out Inland Boat Center's inventory of Defiance Pilot House boats online, including the Admiral 22 and the San Juan 25. Solid construction with no wood to ever rot. Defiance boats are built to last. It is the peak of the season, and the Defiance boat deals have never been better. Along with great financing, you could be fishing next week in your new boat for much less than you ever thought possible. Inland Boat Center, 681 East Jacinto in Paris. Check the website for the current inventory and more at InlandBoatCenter.com. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. Have you ever purchased a surface iron or yo-yo jig and soon the paint is almost gone? Happens all the time, but not with Pacific Lures. Their goal to build a jig that looks like bait and lasts. And that is exactly what you get at Pacific Lures. The powder-coated jig body is extremely durable with high-resolution digital imagery of actual bait fish like mackerel, sardines, Dean and squid. A TIG welded solid stainless steel ring gives superior strength and no corrosion. It's digital, so Pacific Lures can do custom jigs too. Buy online at PacificLures.com or selected retailers. That's PacificLures.com. Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. XEPRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. We're having a great show. Captain Ryan Boston from the San Diego talking all kinds of fishing and talking all kinds of fun. And I have to wish a very special uh, happy 40th anniversary to my mom and dad. It's their 40th anniversary and pretty stoked and pretty lucky to have those guys out there. And they're celebrating their 40th anniversary today. So big congrats to mom and dad and hope we have a, hope you guys have a great time tonight. Hey, we're going to jump back into the phones. Phones are packed up. If you want to get through, 858-457-1090 or 87. 87- 7-7-7-9-2-10-90. But before we do, we've got a very special announcement going on. We heard a little bit about it yesterday from Rick Jensen, Sport Fishing Financial, wanting to talk about the great CCA fundraiser. And we've got Stephen, uh, Stephen Wood on the phone right now. Good morning, Steve. Uh, good morning, Rick and Ryan. Great to hear from you guys. We've got a couple of things to talk about. Uh, one of them is that before our fundraiser in San Diego takes place, there's a fundraiser that's going on up in the 805 at our newest uh, chapter, the Channel Islands chapter. Excellent. Yeah, tell, tell us about it. Well, that uh, they're going to have the Surf and Turf event on July 30th from 12 to 4. It's going to be at the Channel Islands Yacht Club in Oxnard. And the best way to get information on how to get tickets is to go to ccacalifornia.org. And all of the uh, the different events are linked up there. Also, that's a really good way for people to find out exactly what CCA has done for you today. Things are happening all over the place all the time. Our executive director, Wayne Cotto, is wearing out a car driving here and there. Uh, I've seen the guy come back from an event that he finished at midnight and shows up at my house at 5.30 in the morning to go to another one. And uh, that guy is just... As hardworking like, as they come. He really is. We really love Wayne. So our fundraiser is coming up on the 26th of August. And it's going to be at the Portuguese Hall down on Shelter Island Drive. And last year we set the bar pretty high. And as I recall, there was a, a table that uh, absolutely slayed the <laughs> raffle. I think that... Uh, those guys did that because they really helped to raise our funds by expending huge amounts of cash 
on reams of tickets. I think you guys had a roll all by yourself. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. That was a that was a great event, and I, I can say I, I was there. Had an absolute blast. You guys rolled out the red carpet. A really really fun fun night, fun event. Great food, great craft beer. It's just a a really cool event. And, and the raffle prizes you guys gave away was amazing. And I I know that uh, our our table was celebrating celebrating a bunch because everybody walked away with the great stuff. It was such a cool event and just a very mellow great time hung out with a bunch of other fishermen, ate some great food, drank some great beers, and had a lot of fun doing it. Well, we appreciate you, and we appreciate your support. And for those listeners that are out there that are wondering about uh, the CCA operation, CCA is actually not intended to be a club-type atmosphere. The CCA is here to support fishermen and the clubs. So in order to get involved, we encourage everybody to join a local fishing club. If you belong to one, attend the meetings. If you don't belong to one, find one and join it. That is the way that we get to the grassroots level to expand our membership, which is actually going very well. Uh, Being only here since 2015, we have over 2,000 members in California, but we need 20,000. The people that we're up against are professional activists, and their numbers are in the hundreds of thousands. So let your voice be heard and join CCA. So as I said, our event is going to be on July 30th. It's $60 a person. You can buy a table of 10 for 600 so you can make sure you can party with your buddies just like you did last year and make it a, a great a time as you want. As far as some of the raffle prizes we have, uh, Searcher has stepped up again. Celia and Art are going to donate a day-and-a-half trip to be in the raffle. Cedro Sport Fishing is also going to donate a trip, and we expect that one to be a very, very big draw. The raffle is going to be a 100% targeted raffle, which means you put your tickets in front of the prize that you desire, and then there will be graduated pricing on some of the raffles as well. The premium stuff will be a larger buy-in uh, in order to raise funds for CCA. The people are good, but without the money, we can't do the work that we need to do. So that pretty much awesome. sums it up. Uh, and we are soliciting also for people that want to volunteer to help us out at this event. Last year we had a very small group of people that worked really, really hard. So what I would recommend, if you want to volunteer for our event, you can get a hold of me directly on my email, and that will be ccadude, that's uh, two C's and three D's in there, <laughs> ccadude at AOL.com, and uh, we'll see what we can work out. And volunteers will have some uh, special perks to appreciate at the event. A little different than last year, we're going to actually cook the food. We have a uh, membership that are extremely uh, culinary inclined, nice. and they're going to be cooking the food rather than the food truck thing. We think that's going to make it uh, a little bit more intimate for the crowd. And uh, you'll get to eat some local fish that's being donated by one of the local processors. Uh, You just can't go wrong. Well, that's awesome. We can't wait. You can definitely count us in again. We had a great time last year. Can't wait for this year. The CCA SD dude, we sure appreciate you putting all the great work and all the great effort into this. And like you say, the, the beauty of all this, not only is it a great time and a great night, but all of your money is going to help protect our fishing, and that's what it's really all about is raising money for a great organization in CCA. Again, appreciate the great time. One more time, shoot us the info if somebody wants to get tickets. Okay, if you want to get tickets, go to CCA California. Spell out the whole word, California.org, and all of the events are linked up there and all the information on what CCA is doing. And, you know, in terms of the prizes, I know that there's a local guy that's got a 25 Parker, and I'll bet people would pay really big to get an opportunity to fish on that guy's boat. Yeah, no, you're right. Dwayne does a great job. Again, appreciate all the great information, and we will look forward to seeing you at a great event. Steve, all joking aside, you did a, a great one, and a, it's a rad event, and I, I can't wait to come do it again. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Cheers. buddy. Appreciate that very much. Thanks a lot for the phone call. Phones are packed. Let's jump right back into them. Harry in La Jolla, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Harry? Good morning, guys. Uh, Ryan, I want to tell you personally uh, how much I appreciate fishing with you. I learn a lot. I enjoy it. Um, I have had the benefit of fishing with you both uh, freshwater and saltwater. Yes. Um, I fished with your dad, and unfortunately your dad was not able to go on the trip that I just finished uh, yesterday, the uh, five-day trip down to uh, Guadalupe Island. Um, I set my personal high uh, on two uh, issues. I got a a 119... uh, Yellowfin tuna. Nice. Wow. And a 34 pound yellowtail. Wow. But I, I wanted to report that the fishing down there was rather interesting. All the yellowfin tuna were caught on top uh, poppers. We couldn't get anything on the um, bait. 
it was just really incredible. Um, but it was a great trip. And um, I look forward to uh, fishing again with you, Rick, uh, down in uh, uh, El Salto. And uh, I've been very fortunate living in San Diego because I fished with Pete, too. So uh, I want to thank you guys for the show and everything I learned from you all. Well, Thank you, Harry. Harry, great words. Appreciate that. Great report, and congratulations. A, a 119 and a popper is a heck of a fish, and, and a, the big yellow as well. So congrats on a great time, and we sure enjoy fishing with you too, Harry. All right, Ryan? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes. Ryan, um, I'm going to bring some sushi by later today. If you want to leave those poles out in front of the house, I'll pick those up. Got okay. that fine, Harry. Uh, yeah, give me a call. <laughs> Appreciate okay, the phone call good. very much. Thanks a lot for that. Hey, next up. We got an uh, an interesting one, Jumbo from Ontario. Good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Definitely waited on hold way too long to not just hang up on you. Got to say something. Good morning. I hate to say that we're gonna have for after an hour and twenty five minutes of holding, Jumbo from Ontario did not uh, was not standing by the phone. But hopefully you make it back in, and we'll certainly jump back on it. A bunch of very patient callers. Next up, John in Long Beach. Good morning, John. Welcome to the show. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we doing, John? As uh, usual, uh, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Ryan and his crew. I've fished on that boat quite a few times. I drive all the way from Long Beach. Go fish down there. My grandson, who's 20, got when he was eight or nine, he got his first yellowtail on that boat. And the crew is absolutely phenomenal, like everyone has said. And not only that, the way they prepare the fish and keep it is absolutely second to none. It's as good as any long-range boat you can go on. Thank you, John. Thank you so, very much. And, and, and one thing I haven't heard you mention, which you might want to mention, and it's surprising to me, a lot of guys that I fish with are still not even aware of this, you need a passport to go to Coronado Island. Yes, you do. Very, very popular question on social media these days. Anytime we are fishing within 12 miles of Mexican land, and that includes the Coronado Islands, you need a valid passport to, in order to purchase a tourist visa. And I think people get a little scared off by, by getting a passport. It's very easy. Crazy. We, we, have, we have people get passports in... In one day, to, you know, that would be a little extreme, but you can certainly get it done in one day if you're willing to pay a little extra. But two, three, four days, no problem. It, it's not that big a deal to get a passport these days. We're fortunate in San Diego here that we have a passport issuing agency. It's one of the, you know, there's only a handful of them in the, in the you know, in, in our country. And one of them happens to be in San Diego where they, they actually, you know, produce the passport. So turnaround times here, if you go directly to the source, can be very, very short. And like you say, there's a bunch of services that will do it for you. But being in San Diego, you can just you can walk through yourself and no problem getting a passport in a few days. Yeah, it's a non-issue. Yeah, and, get, get your passport. And the thing is, this isn't going away. The, no. the need of having a passport isn't going to not be there. And just think of all the great opportunities. Look at right now, the, the yellowtail and calico bass, bonita barracuda fishing that's going on right now. Without that passport, you literally can't do that. It's it's a little cost. They last for ten years. I mean, it's just it's a it's a it's an absolute must. And, and you know, myself and a lot of our regulars, we we're trying to look at the bright side of this. You know, yes, it has cut down on the the businesses' uh, ability to, to make money, but on the on the bright side, there's less pressure at the Coronado Islands yeah, now because yeah. of it. You know, we've been catching. 50 to, to limits of yellowtail all week, and and yesterday we had 43 people on the boat. You know, and years past that would have been a sold out 55 person load. So it's cut down on the loads a lot, which which makes it more comfortable for the people that are on the boat fishing. It cut down on the the private boat pressure down there. It gives us more options. The bright side is the the fishing is probably going to be better in years to come because of this passport issue. Good way to look at it. Another thing that you guys take care of and the office does such a good job at C4 Sport Fishing is some people, although there really is no need to be because the process is not a difficult one to follow anymore, but you know some, some people don't like the idea of or don't want to deal with getting the FMMs on the private boat. When you show up to C4 Sport Fishing with your passport or your passport card, those guys in the office take care of everything. They, they have they, it down. Yeah, they, and, yeah, and and you're getting the same FMM when you go on the San Diego that you would be you know, from your boat or whatever. Those guys are just very streamlined at making it happen on, on your boat. They take care of every 
little bit of it. You just show up with that passport and a few bucks to go fishing, and you're done. And make sure it's a valid passport. We lose a few people every day because they haven't checked their passport in a year or since their last trip, and they show up at the Seaforth counter, and they realize it's expired, and we cannot take that. So a couple days before your trip, check your passport out. Make sure it's valid. And like you said, all you have to do is show up to the counter, Hand the guys your passport. They will scan it and then put it in a waterproof floating box, and it will be on the boat all day in a, in a safe spot, and at the end of the trip, we'll give it back to you. When you go fishing on the San Diego, um, you need to have your passport. When you're purchasing your new passport, I believe it's only an extra $30 to get the passport card in yeah. addition to the book. And honestly, if you're just doing it to go sport boat fishing, you can just get the passport card only if you want. The passport card is good, is not good for air travel, but it is good for land and sea travel. And the beauty of that is I keep mine in the wallet. I got, I got my, I got a passport, a valid passport to go fishing on the boat with me all the time. It's no bigger than a credit card. You just keep it with you always, and it's, it's perfect to have on the boat. And you won't ever run into that scenario of, Forgetting that you left it on the coffee table, you always have it with you, and, and you're good to go. Yeah, the passport card is a great, great option. Hey, let's jump back into the phones. Thanks again very much, John, for the phone call. Let's talk to Matt, calling us from Santee this morning. Hi, Matt. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning, Matt. Hey, Matt. Um, so my question is, what size flat ball do you like for the bluefin, and um, how effective have those things been on the yellowtail? Um, you know, there's guys that fish them for yellowtail and, and really like them for yellowtail. I'm still kind of a traditional 6X junior type guy when it comes to catching yellowtail in deep water. I, I really like those for a heavy lure. But as far as bluefin offshore or yellowfin offshore, they are very, very, very effective. They're amazing, especially for the bluefin. And as far as what size, it really depends on what size fish we're targeting and at what depth they're at. You know, for those bigger bluefin, those 100-plus pounders, the 200 and 250-gram flat falls are the ones you want to use. That's what we were using this year. For uh, the school size, you know, 20 to 30-pound bluefin, I, I forget the exact way. I think they're like 130s or something. 130s and 160s. Yeah, 130s and 160s. Those are very effective for the school size bluefin. So, if it's large bluefin, and the captain will let you know what size fish he's looking at, the, the 200 and 250s, the smaller flat falls for the school grade fish. Captain Mike Pritchard talked a little bit about it yesterday, um, but get your thoughts on the same. How important is having a piece of fluorocarbon or a heavier piece of leader in front of those flat falls? And, and if so, what's the best way to, to get that? The piece, how long a piece basically uh, do, you, do you want to have on there? Yeah, very, very important to have a, a short little chafing guard of heavy, heavy fluorocarbon in front of it. 200 pound, you know, 130 pound, something heavy. A lot of times when those bluefin, especially the bigger ones, when they come through and eat that flat fall, they just swallow the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And we all know that bluefin have sharp teeth. So after a 30, 40 hour, two hour long battle, We've had some heartbreakers at the boat where they just chew through guys that don't put a leader on. So, you know, I know your uh, Fisherman's Landing Tackle Shop as well as the Seaforth Tackle Shop, they have these pre-made leaders ready to go, and they're crimped, and, it, and it's exactly what you need. If you're targeting big bluefin I would, and you buy a flat fall, I would also buy that heavy chafing guard leader. Good call. Matt, is that any awesome. question for you? That does it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it very much, buddy. Thanks a lot for the phone call. Jumping right back into them. Next up, we're going to talk to Gary, calling us from Del Zura this morning. Hi, Gary. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, how you guys doing? Doing great, Gary. Good morning. Hey, um, I wanted to ask a question. I'm just about ready to buy another reel, and, and usually I use the uh, Trinidad 20, the gold one, with a like a 9-foot uh, glass Calstar for iron and poppers. But I keep hearing so much about the Trank 500. I'm just wanting your ex expertise on, am I going to get, uh, you know, a longer casting distance or, or what, what's up with those reels? Um, I don't think you're going to get a longer casting dis distance than you would with a Trinidad 20. You know, the, the thing that's really nice about those Tranks 500s is if you want to cast Spectra. That, that's where they really shine, in my opinion. If you're fishing, okay. yeah. If you're fishing surface iron around kelp somewhere where you need spectra, there, there's no better reel than a tranks. With that being said, there's still a lot of guys that are fishing, you know, a traditional nine or ten foot jig rod with a tranks on it these days, and they can certainly handle, you know, anything that a that a Trinidad 20 could. The gearing is is the same, I believe, in those reels. Um, 
and the level wine makes it real nice for putting your line back on your reel uh, evenly. But if you're very proficient with a Trinidad 20 and a surface iron, the only time you'd want to go to a Tranks 500, I believe, is if you want to cast Spectra. And you nailed it. Dead and that's on. one thing I haven't really – I always put like a, you know, 100-foot top shot. I haven't got into casting, you know, straight Spectra. So, so who knows, maybe I should get one of those. I, I got a chance to get a pretty good deal on one. So another thing I wanted to say is uh, you know, I wish these people would back off uh, and stay away from, uh, you know, crowding your boat so much. It's so sad to see – you know, ten guys just surrounding your boat. I don't. Some they need to learn. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a tough deal. You know, we're all out there with the same goal in mind. We all want to catch fish, and and like I mentioned earlier in the show, it's it's hard to even catch one fish around here. So I, I mean, I get it. I I don't appreciate it. It does get crowded at times, but you know, I get it. If a guy's a beginner and he's out there with his family on his private boat and he hasn't caught anything for hours and he sees a sport boat over there and there's birds all over it and there's gaffs flying, it's it'd be very hard to resist getting over there. The, the only thing I ask is give our paid customers room to cast. And we have guys that can cast a long way. Yeah, you do. So, so do a little research, figure out what a how far a guy like Rick Maxa can fit can cast, and at least give us that space, you know, at the very least. But, you know, in my opinion, a guy buys his own private boat because he wants to go fish by himself somewhere. He wants to not be on a crowded sport boat. It, it's amazing how good a fish, good a fishing guys like Rick and some of the guys around here find all by themselves without a boat in sight. And that's available with a lot of hard work and a lot of research. You've made mention a lot of times, both when I've been fishing with you and BSing with you afterwards, about how many times you would be in a scenario where you're fishing on the anchor at the Coronel Islands and watching guys, and you're not saying this from a negative standpoint, literally from a, man, you would do so much better if you put your ground tackle down. Yes. And it's a very common whatever you want to call it, easier or training wheel scenario to just put a sardine out and slow troll it behind the boat. But you've made mention to, to me and to other boats that, you know, look, you, you don't want to be, you know, not not only is it a negative thing for us, but it's a negative thing for you. It, it doesn't hurt to put your anchor down and yes. throw, even with the amount of bait that we hold on a private boat, you, you just get that anchor down. It's there, there can be much better fishing. You're, you're certainly hindering sport boats less often and, and can sometimes find yourself much better fishing than you would be to just take the, the what what could be called the easier way out and slow trolling a sardine. Yeah, there, there's no doubt about it. A slow trolled sardine is a very effective way to get a bite. But there's a lot of times at the Coronado Islands where we're fishing, you know, an area, we have our anchor down and we have 30 slow trollers get on us. And before you know it, no one's catching fish. Yeah including the guys slow trolling, where if everyone would just anchor it up, and if you see a sport boat anchored up catching some fish, you can anchor up, like upwind of him, up off his bow, and most of his chum is going to swim up that way because sardines like to swim up current, and you're going to be casting downwind towards the sport boat. And the guys on our bow can't cast into the wind that far anyway, so you're not hindering us at all, and have phenomenal fishing on the anchor. But oh. most... Private boats don't even have an anchor ready to go, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. Good good tips for sure. Hey, Gary, appreciate the phone call very much. Trust me, if Thank you're deciding you. between a Tranks and a Trinidad, you've got some good you got good calls in mind. You're certainly not going to make a, a good decision whichever way you go. It's a win-win for sure. Yeah, appreciate that very much. Next up, let's talk to Ed, who's calling us from Whittier this morning. Good morning, Ed. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, I wanted to talk about the uh, – first of all, let me say I know that the San Diego is a great boat. I've seen the – I mean, the jig, the jig fisherman special is, you know, an epic episode that Michael Fultz produced. And yeah, if that doesn't convince you that, you know, there's great fishing on that boat, nothing will. Um, I just wanted to talk about the cost structure for your three-quarter day trips. Why are they so expensive down there? I mean, the three-quarter day boats up in L.A. County are less than half of what you guys have to charge down there. And I just don't understand why it's that expensive to go three-quarter day fishing in San Diego. Yeah, you know, a big part of that cost is the Mexican paperwork that, exactly. that we have to buy. The cost of the trip is actually $100. That's the cost of the trip. And then you spend $50 on Mexican paperwork, visas, Mexican fishing license. You can buy a yearly Mexican fishing license, and you will save, I believe it's $15 per trip. That's the daily Mexican uh, cost permit cost. So... That's one way to cut down on the cost, and it's, you know, 
in my opinion, there's some boats that are that are that are too cheap. I'll be honest, you know, and you know, I want to keep the boat as cost effective as possible. But that being said, these boats are really expensive to take care of them. Take care of, and trust me, nobody is getting rich yeah. sport fishing. That's for sure. <laughs> nobody. If you drive down to the parking lot and see all the guys that own these boats driving their trucks that are 15 years old, and you know nobody's 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 raking in the dough, but they're doing it because they love it, and it's a great right. way to you know it's a and, fun way to make. And a another thing too is I know it says on all the websites that we're three quarter day, but we're a 5:30 departure. We always have a second captain on the boat, usually to most trips we get in around seven o'clock. So it's more of an all day trip. But it, but it, it does bring up a good point, and I'm sure Ed, you know, that's one of the things that most guys don't think of is is he, I mean, and you nailed it. A lot of people don't realize that you're spending an additional fifty dollars just in paperwork to allow you to fish into Mexico, and that's yeah. the that's the absolute difference between the two. Absolutely. Not to mention that you not that the three quarter day boats above don't run a professional operation as well. I'm sure they all do. In fact, I know that they do. Yeah. But you guys definitely operate at the highest level, both both. Captain, crew, machinery, everything is operated at the very highest level, and that comes with a price. Yes, it does. Sure. Ed, appreciate the phone call very much. Hey, when we come back, we're going to find out who's going fishing aboard the San Diego. We're giving away two passes. You stay tuned. Great Let's Talk hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. This is Captain Art Taylor. I'd like to invite you aboard Searcher for your next fishing vacation. Enjoy our air-conditioned cabins and galley, new improved bay tank, RSW system to preserve your catch, Delicious food prepared by chefs Charlie and Dan, and a fantastic crew. Our 2017 schedule is available now. Book your reservation online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. That's 619-226-2403. I like rafting. I love whitewater. But I never forget that snowmelt in the river can cause cold water shock. I wear a life jacket always. Anyone with me has got to do the same. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. It's Yamaha's Power the Summer sales event. For a limited time, eligible new 90 to 300 horsepower four-strokes include two free years of Yamaha extended service. And eligible new 2.5 to 75 horsepower four-strokes include up to $500 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Offer ends August 31st, 2017. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select models excluded. See authorized participation. Yamaha outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, the big winners going three-quarter day fishing aboard the San Diego out of C4 Sport Fishing. Big winners, Jim in National City and Vince in San Clemente. Guys, congratulations. There is not a finer boat to be going three-quarter day fishing on than the San Diego. And Ryan, just can't begin to thank you enough. Two two weeks without a day off on the first day. You come in here to BS fishing with us, and we really appreciate it and, and love having you on here. There's never enough time. It's crazy how fast these two hours go. They by. do fly by. Definitely. Well, we really appreciate you having you. If somebody wants to get in on all the great stuff we've been talking about, we'll continue to talk about. It's our favorite operation. How do we go fishing aboard the San Diego? Uh, you can check the Seaforth website, seaforthlanding.com. You can book right on the website there. You can also call the landing at 619-224-3383, or you can go to the boat's website. That's www.thesandiego.com, and we're up on all Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. There's a lot of different ways to book a trip. 
We post uh, daily catch reports. Come down and see us. That's awesome. You do a great job. Crew does a great job. Appreciate everything. Thanks for keeping us up to date and, and giving all the way those great passes. Keep up the great work, but we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, and we appreciate you listening today. Another couple of great shows coming for you next weekend. Next Saturday, we have Mark and James from Inland Boat Center. We're going to be talking all about boats, those great Defiance and Arimas and all the great stuff going on at Inland Boat Center. And the next Sunday, Captain Russ Broswell from the Shogun is going to be on the show. A couple of great shows. We appreciate you listening today. Really appreciate Ted yesterday, Adam today, taking such good care of us. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming for you next week. And stay tuned because CS Keys is next right here on the Mighty 1090.